So today we're going to talk about one of the common problems that you might encounter as a saxophonist. That being that the instrument can be very loud and doesn't necessarily lend itself to playing in shared living spaces like apartments. And we're going to talk about the one trick you can do to overcome this so that you can still get your practice time in even though you have to play at a reduced volume. One thing to say right off the bat is that playing very high or very loud might not always be possible depending on your living situation. And one workaround that I found for this when there is really no way for me to practice certain things indoors is to find a nice place to play outside. In my case, I used to walk to a nearby cemetery to practice and now I go across the street to a parking garage. But at a certain point, it's too cold to go outside or you just don't have time to make that trick. So how can you play indoors at a comfortable volume where you can still practice but you won't be bothering your neighbors. And there's a very easy answer to that. All you have to do is put on a very soft reed and your problem will be essentially solved. At first, playing on a much softer reed than you're used to is going to feel very awkward and very easy to overblow. And the trick here is to play as relaxed as possible, almost as if you're just sighing into the instrument. <sighs> Now it's gonna require a little bit more force than that, but you get the idea. And with a little bit of practice, you'll quickly figure out how to work with this new setup. Now, although you could still be limited by some of the things you could practice, such as volume and range, this still opens up the door to a bunch of material that you know you need to work on and simply have to put in the time for. For instance, scales at slow and fast tempos. <laughs> or playing a lick in all 12 keys. And as you get more comfortable, you'll even be able to work on incorporating the altissimo register at a low volume. Two things that aren't often thought to go together. And this is going to drastically increase your control over tone production on the saxophone. <laughs> And over time, you'll notice you'll be able to play with much less tension in your embouchure, which is really going to help bring out a big sound in your instrument. So just by using a softer reed, I've been able to get my practice in, even with the volume constraints that are in place. Now give it a try. I hope that helps you to do the same, and you can get back some of the practice time you thought you might not have.